Well, here you go, and everyone, Josh the Collector Guy. Hope you all had an awesome week yet again, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever you did out there this week, if you went to a flea market, swap meet, or even bought a couple of things off eBay, added some awesome cars to your collections. Hope you had a great week this week, everyone. Well, yes, I promise the red lines are in the vid this week, everyone. Lots of cool ones in the mix there. I'll get to them at the very end of the video, though. Same with the Sizzlers as well. I forgot to mention there were Sizzlers in the mix last week. Well, I think I did anyway. I got three of them there to share with you as well. We'll get to that at the end of the vid. Went to a swap meet and flea market this week. These are the flea market finds just here. We'll get to those in just a sec, though. But first up, we'll start off with the swap meet finds. Went with Dad to the swap meet and the flea market today had lots of fun as you can see picked up some great cars and had lots of fun saw some really nice american and australian cars as well it's always great to see the one-to-one -one scale cars as well if you know what i mean but first up we'll start off with the old boxed matchbox just here i know that was a mouthful the only, uh the, the arctic truck haven't seen this one before i the ones i usually see are the ones with the oil tanker on the back and the funny looking cab truck and everything like that always go to swap meets and that and like die car shops and that where they just have like loose cars and they always see one or the other or both and um found it in the um dump truck form had to grab that very cheap as well well within my price range very nice looking truck haven't seen it before as well and when it's got the old box with it, you got to grab it, no, if it's well within your price range anyways. I know some of the old matchboxes with the old boxes, they'd go for an incredible amount of money. Very cool, glad to have picked that one up. Don't mind the truck as well, absolute mint condition, looks very cool. Looks like a little quarry truck if you... If you ask me, very cool indeed, love it. All die casts as well, that's the best thing about the vintage die cast vehicles. They didn't know what plastic was back in those days. Now we'll get to the carded Hot Wheels here. Got the old Vampira on the cut Speed Demons card. I'll leave a like this, I don't like opening old Hot Wheels. No matter how bad condition, I really don't. It's just one of, just one of my things. I, just, I know a lot of collectors will go, oh cool, I'll open that up, but... Just for some reason with me, I just can't bear to open the old Hot Wheels because, in my opinion, you tear up history. But then again, every, everyone to their own. I, I know if I ever wanted it opened up, I'd probably get someone else to do it for me. Really like Vampire, a really cool looking, looking vehicle. One of the fantasy vehicles done by Hot Wheels. And what are the odds of this? Finding three of the Mercedes... 450Ks, I know that's probably not how you say the name, but I didn't want to jumble it up for everyone. Got it on the blue card. I'm pretty sure I do have this from when I was a kid. Always remember the sparkly paint job on a couple of the vehicles from when I was a kid. Got the old blue card back. Very cool, love the old blue card stuff. The year I grew up with with Hot Wheels. And how cool is this, finding two different card variations of the Mercedes. Wait a second, are they different bases? No, they're not. They're the same, but pretty cool finding two different card variations. Got the old international card just here. As you can see, it's got foreign writing there. I'm not sure what language that is. It might be French, maybe. I could be wrong. Got the old hot bird on the back, and as always, more different languages there I don't know how to read any of that besides English and the usual I would say American card and on the back got some real right information as well so those are very cool glad to have picked those up always cool finding different variations of the cars I know I absolutely love finding variations it's one of my most favorite things with collecting the diecast cars finding all the different variations Got a little micro machine Camaro there, couldn't pass on that, she was pretty cheap. Got two loose Hot Wheels here as well, got the old Toyota Super in black. Surprisingly enough, I don't have this model. Surprisingly how many times I've actually seen this model, so I thought today was the day to finally grab it. I think you can see a bit on the number plate, it says toy. And even Super on the back bumper there, that's pretty cool, or back tailgate, however you like to say it, in the gold Hot Ones. And got the mighty plum-coloured Corvette. I believe she came out in 87, I think. 
Hong Kong base as well. That's very cool. You know she's pretty old. You know the Hong Kong stuff's not that easy to find anymore seeing as they moved on back then from move, from going... I think she was pretty much... Um, I think she came out in the year when they were tra doing the transition over to the Malaysia. I could be wrong, but anyway, I won't jabber on about that too much. Don't think I've got this either, so that was really cool finding that. Very cheap as well. Now we'll scooch on over to the flea market finds. Found this one yesterday at a flea market I went to by myself. There, were, there was really nothing there. there was, this was the only good thing there, really, but still always good to have a look. Never know what you might find. The old Camaro with the pencil thin tyres. You wouldn't want to do a burnout with that. You'd blow up the tyre. Very nice. Love the old Camaros, if you can't tell. And now to the flea market finds I went, well, when I went with Dad to the flea market just after the swap meet, as you can see, got some Transformers here. I'll start off with these. Got the old Tyrell. I think he's a Decepticon as well. Have to watch this guy. He might play up before the vid's finished. The old Tyrell, pretty good race, race cars back in the day, but I think they got banned because I think, well, they were just too good. Nothing could come close to them. Sort of reminds me of um, the way the Nissan Skyline was over here in Australia when they raced in the Australian touring cars. I think it might have been in Group C or Group A. I, I'm not really too sure. I'm not really knowledgeable about the old um, Australian touring car masters or whatever it's called. But um, they were pretty dominant cars as well and I think they eventually got banned as well. So, yeah, pretty pretty unusual they just had everything obviously the competition could not match I know the skylines from what dad would tell me and from what I've seen on TV they flogged the Holdens the Fords everything out on the racetrack and I'm pretty sure the Tyrells did as well so now back to the transformer part of it do collect transformers have for a very long time I remember as a kid getting all transformer stuff like Optimus Prime he is my favorite I, so many different ones I I remember going to flea markets and that, finding them there, like old parts and everything to them and that. The three things I pretty much was into when I was a kid, while well, collecting wise anyway and playing with and that, was the Hot Wheels and Matchboxes and all the diecast cars, Transformers and even Star Wars stuff. I've got even gotten back into collecting the Star Wars stuff as well. Who knows, maybe I might get back to collecting the Transformers as well. Gee, another thing. Transformers, Hot Wheels and Star Wars, gee, I'm going to run out of room in my room and old roll bar here, I think he's a little pullback car, I'll try and transform him as quickly as possible, as you can see there he is, good old Autobot, had to pick that one up, these are pretty, pretty cheap, the, the guy was pretty much giving them away, they were that cheap. Now moving on, the old connectables, as you can see there's two there, I forgot what this 90 series was called but it's fluoro, there's that much fluoro in it, it's so bright. Very cool. More micro machines, two vets, another Zowie. Always love picking up those. And uh, what Dad bought, or one of the things he bought was, um, well, I think I bought it for him, but it was really cheap anyway, it didn't matter. Was the old um, Honda motorcycle off the um, Matchbox Honda trailer. So all we need now is the Honda trailer. and. Saw a couple on eBay, they're around the $20 mark and that, and then you include postage over over the top, so I know some of those are really cool looking as well. Like the ideas they had back then for some of their vehicles was just absolutely amazing. It's amazing how far the die cast has come, how much of it back then was well was made and how much of it's changed over the years. Like the if you showed someone back in the 60s one of these, they probably wouldn't believe you it was a toy car from 20 years on, 30 or 50 years on. So very cool. It's awesome to see how everything's changed, including the way they market the die-cast cars now. So very cool. Won't jabber on about that too much longer. We'll get to the red, red lines now. Great. Something else I'll jabber on about. Start off with the old Sizzlers. Got, what's this one called? Straight Scoop. Very cool. Nice looking car. They were pretty cheap as well. You always got to buy Sizzlers when they're really cheap. And I actually think the battery's been taken out of this one, which is probably a good thing because I don't like leaking batteries everywhere. I think the um, old in Indy Eagles leaked a bit. What's this one called? Rev and Heaven. I think I've got the brown version of this, so it's cool to have another variation. And as I just mentioned, Indy Eagle. 
as you can see I think she has leaked a little bit and also a bit on the tail which is I guess typical for the old sizzlers with the old batteries in it and that you know when you leave batteries for a very long time just leak everywhere now last but not least we'll get to the red lines probably won't dwell on too many too much got a whole big lot of them again they were pretty cheap in my opinion always love buying the bidding on the on the old red lines and that see how I go if I win it I'll win it if I don't I don't that's just the way it is you can't win everything one car I will focus on though is the old mighty Ferrari here absolutely love the old Can-Am car beautiful beautiful car made in the USA love the toys made in the USA too I think that's antifreeze as well or light green got the old 73 jet threat all know the story about the um, 73 models some of the hardest to find models in hot wheels especially some of the well especially super fine turbine that's probably one of the most expensive hot wheels you can get or red lines you can get old jack brabham repco f1 really cool looking car old Duke, oh, sand crab i don't know why i wanted to call it june daddy always want to call it june daddy in rose red Torero and Turbo Fire always get the names of these two mixed up, but I think I got it down pat now. That's Torero and Turbo Fire. Yep, got it right. So hopefully I can remember that. But cars I will focus on are the ones at the front here. Got the old Chaparral. I think that's Olive. I know it looks funny on the camera. No spoiler, it doesn't bother me though. She's a bit beat, but she's still neat. Another Olive Volkswagen Bug. Very cool indeed. Love the old Volkswagen. Such so small when comparing her to the big fleet sides just there, and even the heavy Chevy as well. Such a cool little car. No wonder why she's a fan favourite. Speaking of the heavy Chevy, the old Aqua one. Glad to have another colour variation of the heavy Chevy. Haven't actually found too many redline heavy Chevys um, over the past couple of months, and that. But finally glad to have another one. I think I've actually, no, I actually have more custom Camaras than I do heavy Chevys, which is a bit funny to me, because in my personal opinion, the custom Camaras seem a bit more rare or a bit more sought after. But to end the vid today, the old Sky Shows just here. Love the old Sky Shows. Actually have a pretty good mint condition version one just on my General Motors vintage Hot Wheel shelf just behind me there. She's hiding at the moment, I can't actually zoom in on her, but unfortunately the ramps and everything are missing on these, but doesn't bother me at all. It still represents a Sky Show. Got this one in red. Very nice indeed. Surprised the stickers are still on her. And this one here, have a look at her. I know the guy had in his listing to, for restore. I saw that and I thought, oh, I'm not going to restore. I'd rather leave her as is, show her how well she's lived up to her name as being the fastest metal cars in the world I think that was Hot Wheels saying back in the day and look at her she's she's probably out of all the cars I have she's probably got one of the biggest stories to tell I love the old patina in them and everything I think she's red as well on or maybe orange one or the other anyway still very cool like I know your mint condition red lines and everything are always always awesome to get but you got to love the beaters at the end of the day. They've got a little bit more extra character in them. All of them do anyway, but you always got to love the old beaten up ones as well. Well, that's it for the vid this week, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry if I jabbered on too much, but I hope you enjoyed the little bits of information I shared with you this week. I appreciate everyone tuning into the vid each and every week, like the subscribers, or even if you've just tuned into my channel and thought you'd pop by and have a look at one of my videos thank you very much for tuning in really appreciate it thank you for the support well that's it for this week's vid everyone really hope you enjoyed remember as always everyone happy hunting keep the hobby strong see you later everyone have an awesome week